Because I read this thing. It's about the benefits of cold plunge before you actually work out. Really? Yeah. So anyway, this is a guy uh, who was talking about sp prostate-specific antigen blood te te test came back uh, very high. And everyone said that he had to get a biopsy. And he said, the story I've heard about old, older men getting biopsies in prostatectomies sounded like nightmares to him. So he decided to try to manage his PSA with ketosis and ice baths. So it worked. His PSA dropped from over seven to less than one. And along the way, a funny thing happened to his testosterone. It went through the roof to 1140, which is crazy high. He said, my urologist didn't believe me. He thought I must be juicing. So he had my luteinizing hormones tested too. Sure enough, 8.9 is off the charts for a fat guy in his 50s. He said, then I did a research and discovered a Japanese study from 1991 that showed the secret was exercising after your ice bath. It's the opposite of what everybody says to do, which is exactly how I got this far in the first place. He said, now I'm stuck with the T levels of an oversexed 19 year old. I'm not complaining. Damn. Testosterone levels are on the decline in men. We have heard people say over the years, I don't want to go on a keto diet because it lowers testosterone. But there's ample human studies finding that ketogenic diets actually help to improve testosterone levels in obese and metabolically sick individuals. The testosterone levels of men in, in society today, it's another whole rabbit hole to go down. And I think a, a big contributing factor is um, metabolic dysfunction and insulin resistance, um, as well as things like endocrine disrupting compounds. But what you showed is how powerful that, that protocol of cold exposure um, followed by exercise uh, is. There's a 62 year old guy in Massachusetts. He said, I was on testosterone replacement therapy. I decided to try your protocol instead. So now I go down to the lake, I jump in in the morning, and then I power walk home. That's all he does. He doesn't like weight lift or you know, take supplements or anything. He sent me his lab reports. He was over 1,200. There is no reason any longer that our testosterone has to decline with age. When you have hormonal dysfunction, you have metabolic dysfunction. When you have metabolic dysfunction, you have hormonal dysfunction. So we cannot disentangle these two. They are inseparable, my friends, inseparable. And that's why the solutions are really quite simple. Focusing on metabolic health, losing body fat. So when I wake up in the morning, I don't dress warm. Right. I wear my fucking underwear and I go outside and it's 40 degrees this morning. <laughs> and I walk out and I lift the lid on that Morozgo cold plunge. And I see the fucking ice floating up in there. And every day I climb in. That's brutal. And I just get in there for three minutes in the morning. And then I work out. One of the cool things about social media is um, I get to hear from a lot of people. So guys ask me, well, do you have to start exercising right away? way i don't know uh yeah. what's working for you and they say well i'll do my ice bath then it takes me 25 minutes to go to the gym and i still feel cold when i go to the gym do you think i'm getting benefits i'm like well have you measured your tea yeah. and they're telling me yes when you you haven't quite warmed up all the way yeah. and then you start your workout we're still seeing some beneficial effect it doesn't have to be right away